afternoon everybody so we are still on the going on with the quarantine and actually now where I am living has gone down to a more enforced lockdown or quarantine I guess you could say a enforced stay at home but still the enforced stay at home is kind of a joke and <laughs> it's like pretty much you can go to office supply stores you can go to liquor stores you can go to grocery stores you can go to restaurants you can go to hardware stores you can go to the post office you can go to your mom's house you can go to your dad it's like you've quarantined nothing all you've quarantined is you shouldn't get together with people that's pretty much all you've quarantined which still people can go out to all these places to really give a good lockdown i don't understand why no other places are understanding this yet or some people are starting to understand it you need to lock everything down as I've been saying, you need to just do healthcare, law enforcement, gas, grocery stores. Everything else should be locked down. Should not be going. Restaurants should not be doing takeout orders. People should not be going to office supply stores. People should not be going to pet stores to get their food. That's why you have grocery stores, unfortunately. And if your dog or cat has a special, or a whatever animal has a special kind of food they need, most veterinarians, veterinarians have special foods. I know. Our cat Snowball has gastrointestinal problems, so he gets special cat food, which is through the veterinary. So, <coughs> really, y'all need to try to stay home. That's what needs to be getting done. Um, other than that, guys, it's just been crazy, crazy. Been working a lot, um, almost six, six and a half days a week. So I really haven't gotten to see the kids very much, but you know, enjoy what a little time I can with them. Like I had uh, an hour or two with Aiden this morning. We did some homework and stuff. Um, we were going over. Um, some math stuff which we had to email the teacher because there's some stuff that we uh, couldn't find um, we went over climates and stuff that was pretty cool learning about climates and asking him what kind of climate he's in and you know try to figure all this out um, what kind of climate are you guys in what is your climate that you have I mean do you guys all know the climates that is a good question yeah, there's a tropical there's subtropical there's um, highland there's polar and I think there's uh what is it? Syst Cryological or cystical? It's whatever the one I'm in, and I can't even remember. But it's, it's the one that actually has a hard name. <laughs> name, <laughs> which shows you how dumb I really am. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, you know, and obviously, you know, different climates have different uh, weather patterns and different, you know, things that go on. Um, and obviously, you know, here in the sub, you know, subtropical, it's you have a lot of hot weather, but maybe it's not as hot as the tropical weather, which is all, like, you know, below the equator, is the Brazils and stuff like that. Um, so it was pretty cool learning that kind of stuff with him. I love when he does this kind of stuff, because some stuff I know, some stuff I don't, some stuff's refreshers. <clears throat> um, and I know a lot of people aren't enjoying this whole homeschooling thing, and <coughs> I guess I, I don't do it often, obviously, because I'm working six, six and a half days a week, so my fellow co-parent does a lot more than I do it. So she has to deal with it a lot more than I do. But I can say, when I do do these homeschooling things with him, I really enjoy them. Except for the fact of him being stubborn sometimes. That's what more is my frustration, is him being stubborn learning things. Because I know he's smart, and I know he knows things. Like, there are times he's reading stuff, and he doesn't know words and stuff. And I mean, you know, but I mean, I can say from the way he started first grade, second grade, he's come a long, or, uh, yeah, first grade, he's come a long, long way. Like... He was so nervous reading him most of the time. He, he still is nervous, but he knows words. And sometimes he gets stuck on a word. And all I have to really say to him is like, you know, like, atm and he's like, atmosphere. And he knows him. So, I mean, and there are times he surprises the living hell out of me with words. Like, hold weird word. And I'm like, holy crap, I didn't even think you knew that word. For example, maybe it won't be a big guy thing to you guys, but today he was reading, reading some stories about climate and, uh, like that and he knew the word phoenix as in like phoenix arizona and i kind of was shocked because i was like oh here's one he's gonna ask me because he's gonna be like <clears throat> which is i mean words are hard sometimes i mean especially when you're starting to learn words because you're looking at a word you're trying to <coughs> say it by what the letters are and he said and i was like wow you knew phoenix that's awesome good job and most time he he does he nails these words it's just sense question of him just being not sure of himself and he I think he knows that he just doesn't want to be wrong and I keep telling him it's okay to be wrong I'd rather you not know the word and be wrong and then I help you out and then you get to learn the, learn the word and this when now when you learn the word keep saying it to yourself so that you 
can know if the next time you come up to it and you're like, oh, hey, that is atmosphere. And it just, the next time you just, you can remember more and more and more. Um, as I said, a lot of parents are, you know, this homeschooling thing is definitely showing the appreciation for teachers now of what they have to go through on a daily basis because they do what we're doing now, right now, with 10, 15 kids. <laughs> we're doing it with one kid or maybe two or three, depending on, you know, how many kids you have in your family. But, you know, dealing with only a few kids where they're dealing with, like, a whole group of kids, a big cluster of kids. <coughs> so definitely a mad props to all the teachers out there, which I've always given mad props to the teachers out there because I can honestly say they have a lot more patience than I do. But I've been, as I said, I've really been enjoying it lately. I've been trying to keep my patience with them, not get as frustrated as, as I can. And I just get frustrated because I expect him to know this stuff. And I, I guess I can tell you it might be a high expectation of him. <coughs> I'm just, I, I love him and I know he's a smart kid and I want him to show everyone he's a smart kid. Um, but yeah, definitely mad props to the teachers because it is, it is definitely a hard thing teaching these kids and keeping your patience because there are times definitely in the reason when you're like, okay, you should know this. And then they don't and you're like, come on. Or like, a mad problem, they're like, you're like, come on, you should know the answer to this. And they're like, uh, uh and you're like, you should know this. <clears throat> but teachers just keep their cool. They do an awesome, awesome job. So definitely, once again, multiple times I've said it, mad props to teachers, mad props to teachers on this because they do awesome, awesome, awesome jobs. And I have a lot of friends who are teachers and I can give them mad props. And I've said to them uh, <clears throat> on Facebook and stuff like that, hey, <clears throat> if I have any problems, you think I can maybe reach out to you and help, you know, give me a little help with, you know, some stuff. Um, I mean, it's a lot, you know, hopefully we'll start getting <coughs> this coronavirus under uh, wraps a little bit. We'll start maybe flattening the curve, as everyone keeps saying, but definitely it's not going to happen if no one stays home, guys. And I mean, it's not me trying to be a preachy or being a, a D word, but it's just, you, you got to stay home. You, you have to. I know you guys want to be out and doing things, but you need to stay home. You shouldn't be going out to get takeout. You shouldn't be going out to the office stores. You shouldn't be going out to the hardware stores. Stay home, man. Enjoy time with your families. I mean, seriously. Because if you don't, you're not going to get to enjoy time with your family because you're going to get stuck in a hospital because you're somehow going to contract the virus and it's going to get worse. And I just recently read that since the virus started, which was what, a couple months ago, uh, back in November, October, whatever, I think it's when it started over in China, um, it has now gotten to eight different strains. There are eight strains of the coronavirus at this point. That is more strains, more strains than the months we've been in. Because you figure, remember December, December to January, January to February, February to March. We're in four months right now, okay? And we've gotten eight different strains. That means two strains a month this thing has evolved. <clears throat> that is crazy, and this is what I try to tell people. You need to leave it, keep not fighting with this thing and keep going out and doing whatever you want and being selfish. It's gonna keep evolving. And it's going to evolve to a point where it's going to be a virus that's not going to be able to be controlled. You're not going to be able to control it. And it's going to be a two-day killing virus, probably. Instead of a, hey, you're sick for a while and, may, you know, the possibility of dying. It's going to turn into a mega virus, And that's what the problem is. If we all just stay at home, we stay safe, we stay healthy, we have nothing to worry about, guys. That is what the problem is. And what I keep trying to tell you guys, zoonotic diseases are not for humans. So they're, <clears throat> there's nothing we can do right now until we can figure out a cure to solve it. It's not like a normal fl flu or anything like that. And it's going to keep evolving as it goes into the human body. And it's like, oh, okay, well, the human body started to fight me on this part of it. Okay, well, it starts to evolve itself to then fight back again against the human body. Because it's like, well, I, I want to live. Because their viruses are parasites, pretty much. They are trying to feed off of you to, you know, take over your body. And that's kind of, I mean, I know parasites and viruses are different. Trust me, Penny, and all my science geeks out there, I understand that. But what I'm saying is that's pretty much what this is. It's going to keep evolving itself so that it can keep being living on and keep thriving. So if we don't squish it now, or as I said before in my la one of my last videos, cut the head off the snake, it's going to just keep going, man. It's going to keep going. Um, I am on my way to work, so uh, <coughs> I'll probably see you guys a little bit later. But as I said always, guys, I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys stay healthy. I hope you guys are all staying home. And guys, please Hope you guys all have super, super days. Enjoy the time with your kids. If you get to enjoy the time with your kids, cook some dinner, man. Cook dinner with them. That'd be awesome. I would love to cook dinner with my kids. I do pizza sometimes back in the day when I get a chance to. Cook with your kids, man. Enjoy time with your kids. Play with your kids. When they're doing you know, homework and stuff like that and you're getting frustrated with them, understand, man, this is hard for them. And you're trying to do something that's hard for you. I mean, just take your time, man. Understanding 
is the best thing that's going to go on right now. Just understand that they're trying their best. And, I mean, they want to go have fun. So, I mean, make it like a school day. I mean, that's what I love. If I could find, like, a full day off to do with Aiden, I'd love to make it like a school day, actually. Like, hey, get up. Let's do some homework and stuff. Okay, hey, let's do a little snack break, lunch break or whatever. Hey, let's go out and do a little recess and stuff. Okay, let's go out and finish the rest of our homework, and we'll be done for the day. And then you can just enjoy the rest of your time. But, guys... I am on my way, as I said, so I will probably see you guys later. Hope you guys have super, super days, and I hope you guys, hope I'll see you guys a little bit later. Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys like great quarantine days, super quarantine days in with your families. Hope you guys enjoyed some time. Did some puzzles, maybe played some games, had a little bit of good times. Um, <coughs> definitely, I just saw in the news that we have now, I think, it's, I think in coronavirus cases, have now surpassed... China. So, for all those people who were like, oh, well, when, you know, I made a comment about us, you know, trending higher than Italy was, and now that Italy is not having as much of a populace as us, well, we now we've passed China, so China's definitely more uh, populated than we are, because that's, you know, how it always, you always hear about how overpopulated China is. So, the fact that we have now surpassed them shows how much we're not taking this serious enough that we have surpassed what China has in the cases of coronaviruses. So I hope you guys are staying home. Please, if you're not, please start doing that. Staying home is what we all need to do for the better of the human race. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll all get through this. Trust me, guys. As I said, I hope you guys had super, super days. I hope you guys are having super, super nights. I will most likely see you guys tomorrow uh, night. 